Hello YouTubers. This is JW Solar USA. And today we are charging the batteries again. So of now we're sitting at hundred percent. Remaining amp hours is three hundred and five, which is uh the batteries, that's the battery capacity right now. And we are good. See, it's flashing SOC, state of charge is 100%. 100%. See, we are not um, absorbing right now, but uh, this is what is going on with the system. So, Classic is doing this thing. The Outback is doing this thing. And this is what we're dealing with right now here. Here's the command center. Yeah, she's still looking good. System right here. Eight volts. We are approximately seven seventy three seventy two degrees in the house. Yeah, seventy three. Let's see right there, my little guy. It's an eight twenty one. The batteries are here, taking a nap, just enjoying the flow, the good life, because the charge controllers are taking care of business here. It's kind of cloudy, not that 100% um, sun, but we are making power here. If you look closely, That's what we're bringing in, 100 watt, 1.8 amps to the batteries, 1.2 amps coming from the solar array, and we are just taking only 0.3 amps from the battery. 0 0.3 amps from the battery. I can prove it to you guys because the system is running, the refrigerators and freezer are running. Here we go folks, you can see the light is on. See that? And uh, anytime you're running through solar, if you're on a very high peak time, you know, you can blast your freezer, uh, freezer or refrigerator the way you want it. But you don't want to put it on the max when you don't have that much sun because your compressor is going to be running really high and taking more power from your battery if you don't have much power coming in to replace that um i would recommend no just put it on mid right here so when you crank this thing it's going to take more power from your battery more amps coming in so it's still running, it's on mead, everything is frozen. You can see what is going on right here now. See the frost on the side? Frost and everything looks good in there. You can hear yourself, the refrigerator is running and I'll open it to prove it. Everything is running in there. Everything is frozen. Here goes the light and everything. You can see. Food is really cold. And even that, I set this one to um, the recommended cold. I don't put it on super cold. I don't put it on the coldest. I put it onto the recommended um, 
regulation that's supposed to be on because you don't want the refrigerator side to be frozen and you're going to be using more power again uh, using a microwave to thaw that out to warm your food and everything so it's just on the recommended side right here so it's all running on solar folks everything is on solar and we are just taking point point zero point three amp from the batteries is a full size uh, family is a full family size refrigerator and uh, you see that's exactly a full size a family size uh, refrigerator so we are running on solar everything is looking good everything is fine so so folks um, solar works someone is still dowsing about solar which is a free energy well I think there's a lot of proof out there a lot of people have been proving that they've been showing you guys but sometimes it's really hard to um, convince the minds of the skeptics you know they're always gonna be skeptical about everything but you can't be skeptical for the rest of your life you just have to believe that and try yourself you know someone's telling you something go ahead and try it prove that person wrong or prove the entire uh, renewable energy or solar wrong that um, you are right you found out how things works but to be honest with you and this is not anything that is uh, you know uh, pick up a fight with just go to the store or just go into the net and order some of the stuff you guys can see exactly what the uh, Wiz Bank is telling you right here we only pulling 0 0.4 0 0.4 amp from the battery we're still sitting at 305 amp hour battery bank that's my battery bank 305 amp hour 48 volt system and I have the classic and uh, outback system so they're just doing their thing it's kind of less sunny you see where the wattage coming in right now it's just a 990 so folks you know system is working I'm just uh, encouraging the skeptics to go about and get the system try it you never go wrong for just trying because this system works for me it's gonna work for you it's gonna work for everyone who wants to try who wants to take this path and um, you won't regret it there's a lot of things going on out there People with different energy sources, they tend to regret about a lot of stuff, some people. But so far, so good. I didn't regret anything. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm enjoying the free power. I'm enjoying the technology. And uh, here is the battery bank right there. I can't open it up right now to show you guys because uh, it's just I'm using one hand. It's kind of tough for me to do. But uh, you guys have to trust me because the batteries are in there. Yep. So, you know, this is how you do it. It's always nice to have free power, power of the sun. Don't you ever underestimate the power of the sun so this is what we do and this is how we make power so I'm making power folks alright 
this I'm gonna wrap up this video 10 minutes and uh, please subscribe share the link thumbs up comment JW Solar USA signing out happy 4th of July for American people here in America I'm wishing anyone who's watching this happy 4th of July and this is JW Solar USA. Bye bye.